Hi you guys and welcome back to the Firefighters Financial Toolbox. My name is Brad. Today we're going to talk about how the coronavirus is starting to affect dividend investors in a very negative way. As you know, as a dividend investor, you are investing for the dividends, for the passive income, getting that dividend check, usually quarterly, sometimes monthly. Uh, but with the coronavirus and all that's happened, companies are out there and they are suspending their dividends. And some of them are stopping uh, repurchasing of their outstanding shares. And we're going to talk about why that's important. First of all, the coronavirus, we know that certain industries have really taken a major hit. Uh, basically everything to do with travel. So your airlines, your hotels, oil prices are in the tank right now. So all of your oil companies, many energy companies are suffering greatly. Uh, but the other thing out there is restaurants. So we're going to talk about some major companies out there that are either suspending their dividends or discontinuing their stock buybacks. And then we're going to move into some that personally hit home for my portfolio and talk about why they're important. A couple of big ones out there in the airlines industry, obviously Boeing. Now Boeing was having some... Uh, financial problems previous to this due to the debacle with the uh, programming glitch. Uh, but their stock price has gone to the point where they've suspended their dividend. Another major carrier out there, Delta Airlines. Even after Warren Buffett spent millions of dollars investing into Delta Airlines, they've suspended their dividend. Uh, some big uh, hotel chains out there, Marriott, for example, Marriott International has suspended their dividend. Right, let's talk about some restaurant chains. Bloomin Brands, the company that brought you out back steakhouse. They've suspended their dividend. Darden Restaurants, the people that brought us Olive Garden Restaurants, they've suspended their dividend. What about stores? Big stores out there. Macy's, big national brand. Their dividend suspended. Nordstrom's, their dividend suspended. What about automotive? Ford, this is one that is hitting me. Uh, I've held Ford for a little over a year now and it has gone down consistently. Uh, and now Ford has suspended their dividend. So that's one that personally hits me. Uh, energy and fuel. Apache, which is a company that uh, based in Houston, an oil company. They've cut their dividend to $0.10 cents per share annually, down from a dollar per share. Occidental Petroleum, they cut their dividend to $0.44 cents per share annually, down from three sixteen. One that I hold personally that I'm concerned about is Exxon. Exxon has continued to raise their dividend for 37 years. Will that continue? Exxon has cut back on their stock buybacks, and I'm feeling good about that. Why companies do stock buybacks. Uh, it is a way to sort of artificially in, inflate their share price, but it does get their earnings per share better. Let's talk about other companies out there that I hold. AT&T for one. Now, AT&T has been one that's been known for protecting its dividend. It's a dividend aristocrat as well. Uh, and many investors would head for the exits if they thought AT&T was going to slash that dividend. We do know that they have discontinued buying back any additional shares outstanding. Uh, other companies I hold personally in the banking industry, J.P. Morgan's, Bank of America. Now, both of those are sort of smaller holdings, but they've stopped buying stock buybacks so that they can save some money, they can continue to pay that dividend. You guys, with all this going on right now, it's going to be a hard time, even for dividend investors, to make a good living with this. Uh, every sector out there is affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. It's continuing to get worse uh, as more cases go and more companies are hit, and the longer that they're having decreased revenue, the more we may see of these dividends being cut and possibly suspended. Uh, dividend investors, 
We've always thought of that as a pretty passive, easy way. Might not be the case forever. Anyway, hope you guys got something out of this. If you did, hit the like button for me. If you're not already subscribed, please subscribe. All right, we'll see ya.